Richard Engel, who is in the outskirts of Kiev. And Richard, clearly the story is this Ukrainian resistance and Russia's inability to, I think, to have a quick uh, invasion and success here in Ukraine. What are you seeing? We are seeing that the Ukrainians are not only putting up a heavy fight, they are pulling together. We are on the outskirts of Kiev right now, and as we've been driving through towns and villages, we are seeing Ukrainians coming out, manning checkpoints, taking their hunting rifles, shotguns, standing next to Ukrainian troops. Uh, people had thought that by now the Ukrainian army may have to go underground. We are seeing many, many Ukrainian armored vehicles, tanks on the road. They are operating openly. They are cutting down roadsides, uh, road uh, signs by the roadside in an attempt to confuse advancing Russian troops. And according to the numbers coming out from the Ukrainian military, uh, they believe that they have destroyed over 700 Russian armored vehicles, 150 Russian tanks, about 50 aircraft, helicopters and fixed wings, and inflicted about 4,000 Russian casualties, Russian fatalities. And there are numerous reports of Russian troops simply running out of fuel, breaking down by the roadside and being detained, in some cases, by average Ukrainians who are handing them over to police, handing them over to authorities. So they are, they are fighting back very hard. And Richard, I'm just curious, we're seeing, while the Russian military is having success at cutting Ukraine off from ports and things like this, it's this fighting in the cities. They haven't gotten control of any city yet. Um, uh, it's clear they, if to, in order to do this, they may have to get bloodier. Have you seen any evidence that more Russian troops are coming? Well, what we've been hearing is that the Russians have so far mobilized about half of the troops that they had positioned around the edges of Ukraine. And just earlier today, uh, some Russian elements pushed into the city of Kharkiv, which has about one and a half million people in it. But uh, and the Russian troops did get out of their vehicles, which is one of the first times we've seen that and tried to occupy part of the city. Uh, but they were pushed back and there was heavy fighting. And according to Ukrainian officials and, and videos that we've been seeing, uh, the Russian troops were repelled from the city. So they haven't captured the capital. They haven't captured even uh, other smaller major cities. So, yes, if they want to take the cities, they're going to have to get out of their cars. They're going to have to go uh, house to house. And so far, they haven't even been able to establish and maintain a foothold in any major population center. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.